Good afternoon. This is Gustavo Fared here at courtside. World Junior Racquetball 2022 from Guatemala City, Guatemala. I'm joined here by Alexis Iwasa from Canada. We're about to watch our third day of streaming here. Sixth day of competition. Girls 12 and under between uh, Luciana Cuenta de Bolivia and Maria Villacreses from Ecuador. The Bolivian girl, both girls are 13 years old. Yeah, the Bolivian girl, her first World Junior Racquetball Championship, while the Ecuadorian has three under her belt, actually three bronze medals already. So she's a, a seasoned 12-year-old for the sport. Uh, her, uh, her dad, an avid racquetball player himself, and has invited many us many a time to go join them in Cuenca and with myself, Gary Mazaroff, to set up a, uh, a tournament down there of uh, senior doubles. So we're looking forward to doing that someday. But right now we are watching Medinanieli Delgado, the head referee from the Dominican Republic, a very good player herself. And now one of our uh, professional referees joining us here in Guatemala City. We have 21 referees, and about 10 of us are on the IRF staff, technical, administration, and other. Explaining the rules, we're playing rally scoring, three games to 11 to win. Three out of five. We will play on points until victorious by two. Cannot end winning by one point. The rally scoring has worked very well in this tournament, keeping the players intense, the fans interested, and hopefully some new viewing public learning a little bit about the sport. In the singles matches, we're hoping to uh, share with you a little information about racquetball itself and uh, how it came to be and just the sheer number of young players that are playing in South America. Uh, great sport, uh, easy sport to learn to play and obviously unlike tennis where you're chasing a lot of balls when you're not good or you don't have a ball boy or girl, uh, here you can get the ball quickly and get a great workout without even knowing you're getting a workout. And here we go, the Bolivian serving. And we are at 0-0, game to 11 points. Excellent first serve. Z to the glass side, difficult to pick it off the glass, 1-0. Ball's down. Side out, and a point. Excuse me. 2-0. 0 Bolivian jumps out to an early lead. She's staying with the same hard Z. This time coming off the back wall, a mistake. And now we have a change of serve, side out, 1-3. Second serve, Maria's been playing for about six years. 
As I said, they're both 13 years old and she has three bronze medals already. She's in the ninth grade and is looking to start a career in the medical field. Point. Two, three. It's nice to see the ambition of these young kids. They love the sport, but know that they have to uh, get an education to, Woo, nice shot. Splat on the right side, and we're all tied up, 3-3. Three, three. Short serve. Our sponsor is this event, Gearbox. Thank you for everything you folks do, including providing all the balls for the tournament, the referee wear, the shirts and shorts, and obviously a lot of the players here use your equipment. And another point for the Ecuadorian, 4-3. Venue here has 10 beautiful courts. Glass back, a serve. Two of them have side glass. And it is only for racquetball. Second serve. Side out and a point. 4-5, Luciana serving, no, turned her around and she drove the ball into the ground, we're all tied up at 5, nice serve, glass is a factor there. Regains the lead at 6-5. Skipped in. She's mixing the serve up, which is good. We're all tied up at 6. Short serve called by... The head referee, second serve, Ecuador. And it looked like she held up because she thought the other player was in her way. She shouldn't have done that until she heard the referee say something. Lost the point. We are all tied up at seven now, going to 11. A nice power shown by Maria from Ecuador. Timeout Bolivia, the rules have changed in our sport of racquetball. Rally scoring, as I said, three out of five games to 11. Fourth and fifth games, if necessary, have to win by two. Allowed one timeout, one one minute timeout per game. Two minutes in between games. The uh, appeals process, and it will not take effect until the semis and finals here We'll be uh, using a video assist review camera, what we call VAR, in courts five and six, which has really, really uh, helped us in terms of uh, just keeping the game going. And uh, basically the, the VAR is for the referee to affirm or disaffirm the call they made. 
no one else inputs to that call. We're back here after the timeout for Bolivia. Ecuador serving 8-7. Second serve. Lob to the right side. Skipped in. 9-7. No, ball's long. Second serve. Nicely done. Maria is moving the Bolivian player, Luciana, left to right. Second serve, long ball. We are through game number one, 11-7, won by Maria Villacreses de Ecuador. Two minutes till the start of game two. We'll stay on right now. My uh, cohort, Gary Mazaroff, is, is off having lunch. He'll be back here for some of the afternoon matches. We have 198 players here. Uh, of ages category 10 through 21. This year, the 21 and under category was added. So many of the players that were actually out of the juniors after their 19th birthday are able to come back in, and they have. We have 11 countries. Uh, the juniors tournament started back in 1989, Miami, Florida what they call the Orange Bowl Tournament. And back then, I believe there was only uh, seven countries which played, basically moving around the United States. And now, of course, we have so many more athletes playing in Central and Latin America. 0-0, zero, zero, Ecuador serving, game two. Called it short. Second serve. Little frustrated. One zero. Side out. One one. It's a good serve, jammed her. 2-1, Luciana is studying math. She's in the eighth grade, she likes math. Nice get. Nice pinch left side. Takes an early 3-1 lead. A lot of great matches today. Quarterfinals of all of the divisions, the main one being the gold medal division. Second serve, lob, deep lob. A little bit nonchalant there. She had the whole right side. Didn't have to do much but hit the front wall. Side out. 2-3. Powerful serve. Uh, 
Good get. On her knees to get that one. Very nice. Holding her hands up, requesting a, a hinder ball. Not granted. And gets the point anyway. 4 2. She let up on the power right into the left corner. I mentioned earlier, she has three bronze medals already at the age of 12, three world championships. Good coaching team behind her, second serve. Nice uh, hit off the glass. Not sure why she was raising her hand, but to no avail, 5-3. Nice get. I think we have a match here. 6-3. No, two bounces. Timeout, Ecuador, one minute. We're seeing the girls 12 and under here from Guatemala City. Elevation about a mile high. Had the opportunity to play with their head trainer today, Juan Jose Salvatierra, this morning. And the elevation does play a factor in, in, uh, in training and how... Uh, it affects the players differently. Obviously, the ones that train at this elevation have an advantage. And many of the players that play, train at sea level has, have commented on that. But nonetheless, this is where the tournament is. And we are uh, truly enjoying this eight-day long event here from the capital city. Girls come back into the court. Bolivia serving second game, 7-3. First serve. Little uh, too nonchalant on that soft tap. Had the right idea. Short serve, 8-3. And it took a, a different bounce off the glass. She got turned around. Ecuador now down 9-3. Good get on her knees. No. Rushed it down. Her. Possible first game point, three. Good serve, better return. Balls down. A loud chant by the Ecuadorian player. And here is what makes the uh, rally racquetball exciting, that the Bolivian girl can win this game receiving.
and she does. We are all tied up here, 1-1. One, one. We will at least go four games to, to, to get our winner. Without knowing exactly, I believe this is the uh, quarterfinals of the 12 and under girls. For those of you that are joining us, I'm Gustavo Farel. I'm here with Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Pablo Fajere from Chile, Adrian Macrino, Argentina. We're all here at the at the desk. Um, Gary and I are doing the the commentary, and uh, Adriana, Alexis, Adrian, and um, Pablo are running the production for us. We will have some exciting uh, doubles matches this afternoon. We've added the mixed doubles to the portfolio of events here at the all the the IRF events. This is the International Racquetball Federation and um, we have added that I believe in the 16s. I, 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 I think we are going down to the the 12s even 14, 16, 18 and 21 for the mixed. It's very exciting, very different for many of these players that have never done that. And it's good to see the, the competitive nature of all these young boys and girls. We're going to game three now. And Bolivia serving 0-0. From my vantage point, could have been good, but no, second serve. Nice return. That was a deep, deep serve. The fans from Ecuador cheering her on, coming to serve 1-0. Bolivian responds with her own uh, shoulder height kill down the left side. 1-1. One, one. Point. Luciana me pidió que le mandara agradecimiento a su familia en La Paz, que la están viendo aquí en este Mundial Junior. Quick side out from Ecuador, we're back to 2-2. I'm going to say that was short, and yes, it was. Sometimes hard to hear the referee and the score because it's the transmission is internet-based. There's a delay as it comes onto the board in front of us. Bolivia coming back to serve at 3-2. After the first game, she has certainly settled down, Luciana, 4-2. No, no, that ball skipped in. Three, four. Right side. Girls are very evenly matched. 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. 
No. Long ball. Second serve. Nicely done. 5-4. For those of you new to the game, you have two chances to get the ball over the short line, which is the center solid line that you see in the court. Very nice reach by Maria from Ecuador, and we have a timeout from Bolivia. One minute. We'll stay on here. And the rules, are, the game is very simple. Actually, you want to get it, return the ball to the front wall uh, before it bounces twice, much like tennis and other uh, racket sports. The, uh, the lower you hit the ball, the better, but it has to hit the front wall first. And there is, of course, a lot of strategy to the player racquetball. And as you start getting into the game, you'll learn the bounce off of the walls, the angles, the ball itself, how it reacts uh, when you hit it. Some players will slice the ball. Some players will hit the ball very hard. And others will actually dink the ball or drop the ball into the corners. One of the advantages we have with this new gearbox ball that we've been enjoying for several years now at the IRF events is that it allows for longer rallies. It used to be the ball was so fast that uh, obviously the, the stronger, faster hitting player, it was just a game of can you get your racket on the ball. Well, that's changed now. And we're back. I'll tell you some more later. 6-4. Ecuador ahead. Maria from Quito, Ecuador. She also le agradece a su familia que la están viendo por apoyarla en este gran evento para los chiquilines. Contenta de estar acá. Bolivia comes in to serve 5-6. We're in game three. Down the line. Loud chant by Maria on her good shot, 7-5. They have 10 seconds to get the ball in play. Second serve. The only correct way to uh, stop the server from serving is raising the racket completely above your head or turning your back to them. Point. Ecuador taking now a 8-5 lead. Uh, Bolivia has no more timeouts in this game. and gets the return and a point. 6-8. Nice shot. Left side pinch. Calls it good. Nine six second serve. No, not that time. Right idea. Coming in to serve at seven nine. Nice stroke by Maria from Ecuador. She does not have any more timeouts, but she asked. 10-7. 
Trying to get to the corner there. Nice get. Not that time. Game three goes to the Ecuadorian. 11-7, 4-11, It'll be two minutes, we'll be back, we'll just stay on and this is a good match to share other information to you about our host city and uh, our great sport of racquetball. The, uh, as I mentioned here, the, the players ages 12 and under up to 21 and under. Uh, about 198 players, I think, are registered for the event, 11 countries coming back from COVID. It was held here last year as well, uh, less, less attended, but nonetheless, inauguration of this fantastic venue here that I am uh, enjoying as well as we're able to play in the mornings before the, the, all the matches start. Uh, wonderful restaurants the hotel the the staff the services everything have been great the uh, breakfast and, and meals the restaurants that are around the hotel are walking distance uh, many many restaurants of all types of cuisine and we have enjoyed several of them already albeit we get out pretty late after the day's events There's about eight million people in Guatemala, about a million people in the, the actual downtown city, if you will. A lot of traffic. 0-0, zero, zero, game number four, Ecuador serving. Bolivia jumps out ahead, comes in to serve at 1-0. And that is what we call an avoidable hinder. Unfortunately, she did swing. The purpose of that is to avoid a dangerous shot, a safety-related call. And the point was again granted to the Bolivian 3-0. They're using the, the left side well, taking advantage of the glass. Bolivia now up 4-0. Luciana needs this win to take it to a game five. Nice three wall, deep lob, return. And Ecuador gets their first point, 1-4. Maria has been playing that side well. Side out, point, five, two. Point, six, two. Nice drive serve down the right side. And a timeout by Maria from Ecuador. 7-2, we have one minute here.
30 seconds, says the referee. Eight two now. Nine two. Responds with an aggressive right side kill. 3-9. Remember now, both players score on every exchange in rally scoring. Great get. And no. Our head referee, Mary, says no. That is a point for Guatemala. Uh, excuse me, for Ecuador. Nine four. Nice return off the glass. Maria from Ecuador is not giving in. Score is 5-10. 6 10 now. Will we go to tie break? Off the back wall setup. And that does it. So yes, we are going to tie break, 11-6. We're gonna stay on here as we um, are looking to a game five now for the girls 12 and under between Luciana Cuenta de Bolivia and Maria Villacreces de Ecuador. There we go, we had a flag correction there on our scoreboard, my apologies. I think our producers are having lunch. I, our uh, staff here from Guatemala has done a fantastic job. They are been quite the hosts. Seeing some friends from many years back that have come up to say hello. Uh, the IRF racquetball family is 
is well and strong. And we continue to improve on how we share our sport with the rest of the world. Here we go, game five, Bolivia serving 0-0. Zero, zero. Off the back wall. It's now or never for both of these girls. Side out. Ecuador takes a 1-0 lead. Responding to that serve with a kill return, 1-1. One, one. Going up with the ball, I don't know if I would have done that, but setting up Maria in the center court. That was a mistake. Ecuador up 2-1 now. And Bolivia skips the ball in, making it 3-1. We need to look forward to our next match to be streamed here. That's a great return, a great shot. Four one Ecuador. Looks like at one thirty we have a boys sixteen singles. Mexico against Canada. Five one. Looks like the Ecuadorian's going to run away with this one. Looking to her coach. Cueva, who's been involved with Ecuadorian racquetball for at least 10 years. Showing her experience now, Maria Villacreses, timeout Bolivia, one minute. We're going to be, stay on. Our producers are still having lunch. And I don't want to start touching all of this equipment and take away the viewing for our audience. Gary has come back to join us. He's uh, giving us information on future games today. We will be streaming probably till around 7 o'clock this evening. This is the quarterfinals of our event. Semis and, and finals will take place tomorrow and uh, Saturday. Some events will actually end tomorrow. Two minutes in between games here. One minute timeout right now. The players should be coming back on the court. Maria from Ecuador very confident as she strolls in to get the ball. We have a... Uh, full bleacher behind the stadium court here. Mainly Ecuadorian fans. Nice Z lob return. And that was a very good timeout by Bolivia. 2-6. Very well done again in the front court. Put it down low, irretrievable. Second serve. Nice lob to the uh, right side, three wall, but a better, much better return. 
and a point. Taking it to 3-7, 7-3. Notice the player has her racket up. I would encourage her to hold it higher. She has 10 seconds. She cannot affect the serve. Both players have 10 seconds. She cannot affect the 10 seconds of the server if she holds her racket up for the entire duration. The crowd... Uh, Cheering her on, 8-3 now. Visa Creces from Ecuador. Unfortunate, but I give credit to the Bolivian girl for having taken that ball off the side wall. That wasn't easy. She has, Ecuador has done an excellent job of playing that left corner throughout the match. Long serve. Brings the score to 9-4. Two points from a match and victory. Not that time, says Luciana. Five nine. Deep lob serve, well placed. Returned. But with nothing on it. Going to six nine. Going to replay that. Mary, the head referee, felt there was a screen on the ability of the Ecuadorian to get to the ball. A set up center court. Exciting, folks. Ecuadorians chanting, uno, uno, one, one more point. Pressure's on. Both girls. Seven, ten. Timeout, Ecuador. One minute. I had to stop Gary from biting his nails here. Nerve wracking. Jose Luis Cueva, the Ecuadorian coach, telling her, you can do it, you can do it. One more point, and she will be receiving the serve. And what has made this uh, all so exciting this week with the rally scoring, she will have a chance to win the match as the receiver. Not if... Luciana has anything to say about it. She will need to score five points because you have to win by two 
to take the match. Anything is possible. Here we go. 7-10. Nice deep. And that does it. No more to be said there. Wow. Very, very impressive. Both players, good players, very evenly matched. We're going to take a brief break here, and we will be back in about uh, five minutes for the start of the boys' 16 singles. This is Gustavo Farel with Gary Mazaroff signing off.